art kids. Welcome to Countdown to Christmas with Advent Plots. Let's find story number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When we turn the block, we see a picture of a crown. Now let's find story number 10. A heart like God's. The story of David. After King Saul stopped listening to God, God chose someone new to be king. He was just a boy and he wasn't strong or tall like Saul, but he was brave and much more importantly, he loved to listen to God. God told the prophet Samuel, go to Bethlehem. That's where the new king is. So Samuel went to the little town of Bethlehem to the house of Jesse. You see, Jesse was one of Abraham's children's children's children, so it made sense that God would choose a, a king from his family. Jesse had eight sons, but Jesse thought God would pick the next king based on who was the strongest, tallest, and bravest. So he only brought the seven of his sons to Samuel. They all looked like kings, but God doesn't always pick the people we might think. Sure enough, God didn't choose the oldest son, or the next oldest, or the next. God chose the youngest son, who didn't look like a king at all. His name was David, and he was just a shepherd. I don't pick people the way you do, God said. I'm not looking at how strong or tall David is. I'm looking at David's heart to see if it looks like mine. So Samuel, to everyone's surprise, poured oil on David's head, which was a special sign that David was God's chosen king. And God made David two promises. First, God promised that one of David's great, great, great grandchildren would be a king who would bring God back. Second, God promised that as long as David listened to God, God would be with him. Sure enough, God was with David. And David did many great things. He fought a giant man named Goliath and won. He fought a bear and won. He built a great city to keep God's people safe. He wrote songs that were so popular, everyone sang them. In fact, we still sing some of David's songs today. Even when it was hard, even when David's dad thought he shouldn't be king, even when David had to fight giants and bears and bad guys, God was with David. But David did not always love God well. And because God was looking at David's heart, God knew it. God knew when David stole another man's wife, a woman named Bathsheba. God knew when David killed Bathsheba's husband. God saw David's heart and God knew that it was full of sin. David knew his heart was sinful too, so he wrote a special song to God asking God to take his heart and make the wrong things right and the dark things light. It went something like this. God, I've sinned very badly. I've hurt others and you. But I know even now you can make my heart new. Forgive me the wrong things and heal those I've hurt. Make my heart clean, wash away all its dirt. And then he began a song you might recognize. Because of this sin, God seemed far away. So David and Bathsheba began to hope and to pray. God, will you come back to stay? 